Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw. I'm aboard the Discovery Princess with someone who might be a familiar face. Actor Ted, it's yeah, Ted Lang. Well, it's, yeah, it's, I'm an actor. That's it. Yeah, you that's, are an actor. I am an and actor. And you played Isaac. That's my name. That's your name, Ted yeah, Lang. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you played Isaac on Love Boat, and everybody knows that one. Yeah. We're going to talk to Isaac or Ted. Yes. Right here on Discovery Princess because we're here at the opening party for the real Love Boat. It's the successor series. Uh, there was actually one in between, but uh, we're going to talk to him the about the sequel the too. Se the sequel too, and actually Ted is in it on yes. the first episode. We're going to talk to him about that and more on an insider travel report. Now, first of all, Ted, you've been involved with Princess Cruises for quite some time now. Yes, yeah. It lasted longer than some of my marriages, but that's <laughs> another deal. Did you ever think when you first started on the love boat that this would be happening now? Absolutely not. <laughs> it was a pleasant surprise. That means you can do a job, and 40 years later, they ask you to come back and do the same job, and they'll still pay you. <laughs> that's a good thing, as that's you said. That's a good thing. Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's excellent. Now, so I, and then I take that money, and I bring it to my wife, and I say, see? <laughs> I actually work. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, this is great, and it's great to have you still here. I mean, we had the whole cast here. I mean, uh, Gavin McLeod unfortunately died uh, last year, yeah. uh, who was a great representative for cruising. And you've become a great representative for well, cruising. You know, uh, Gavin was a great man. Man, and he was a wonderful representation of humanity. Right. He was a wonderful person. He was, and I, I read about him after he died, and it was just amazing. I mean, I knew him from so many different roles. You know, Mary Tyler Moore, McHale's Navy. I mean, he had everything else. And But then you guys all got together, and one of the things you just said uh, on stage was how close you had become as friends, right? Yeah. All the all the, all the, the all the cast, right? Yeah, we all stayed in touch. We all love each other. We all protect each other. And uh, sometimes you do a television show, you don't know where it's going to go. And I think that was part of the magic of our chemistry is that we all loved each other and we found each other amusing. Yeah, and you and I think you had a great, great chemistry with the whole place. Now, you actually got a role. They called you back here, and all of a sudden, you're suddenly on the first show. Did you think that was going to happen? No, I didn't know at all. You know, they offered me a job, and you don't know what the job is half the time till you get there. And then when I got there, they informed me that I would be on the first episode. Yeah, and and you are you're play, the new bartender is Ezra, and she credits a lot to what you did before as inspired. Well, Ezra and I, it's just chemistry. It was magic from the word go. I mean, we just connected, and it was delightful. Well, we just saw one scene, a little a preview, where you're giving some great advice to the couples that are uh, and the, the singles on the show, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> well, what about what was like? You went you went working with so many different stars. I mean, you said over a thousand. Uh, guest stars came on yeah. uh, some of ended up being Academy Award winners what was it like to, to be among all those folks back then well you know the the really talented ones you could see immediately like Martin Short Billy Crystal Tom Hanks you could see their talent it just leaped out yeah. you know so you knew immediately that person's gonna have a career right so you, you know? saw it from there because yeah, they were guest stars. close up and personal yeah, yeah. Now, what about these this latest the couples? It's it's. What do you think of it turning into a reality series, though? Well, I mean, you know, that's the fascinating thing about show business, is that just when you think it's done, it's had its last legs or whatever, they put another spin on it and they do something else that you never even thought about. Well, that's it, and now it's the the real love boat. Now, um, what what? So now, where, where do you go from here? You're still going to work with Princess and keep on promoting. If they Princess? ask, you know, yeah. the, 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 as long as the check clear I'm good <laughs> now you you had this signature move and we saw it on stage again uh, which everybody remembers and I don't want to if you can if you want to do it for us there you it go is. that's it the is. one and you explained that what did you explain is that's that's when you you get the money right, right he said I said because I want to know what my motivation was to look into the lens of the camera because you don't usually look into the lens you look a little to the side of the lens right. where the person you're talking to is and the camera records it but on our show because we were looking into the lens to do an introduction of who you were I said well, well who am I looking at what is my motivation and he said think about the check <laughs> 
<laughs> that was a great story. That's a good yeah. idea. That's and a then good you idea. were on the, the first episode. So you're going to see Ted on the first episode of The Real Love Boat on October 5th on CBS. Uh, I'm so glad you're on this episode because I think you, you really, it's loved, uh, it's great to connect the two series and it's great that you're back on board. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. Absolutely. I'm James Killinglaw and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>